Working with accessibility standards in mind brings incredible advantages besides helping someone navigate a website or an application. One of the biggest perks is that Google favorites accessible websites against non-accessible ones. So besides helping someone, considering these standards can massively improve your exposure online. The current standards are called WCAG 2.0, 2.1 and W3C. These cover a variety of parameters from font and image size to color contrast and even tagging. And so here are five tips to help you improve your accessibility standards. Don't include text as part of your design. What I mean by this is that sometimes, especially in web design, it can be quite difficult to align all the elements together. Therefore, a lot of designers try to include the text together with the background. Although I can completely see the point of it, for someone using screen readers, they won't be able to hear what you wrote and so the navigation can be confusing. Also, Google likes content. If you are removing text from your web page, you are effectively decreasing the chances of Google finding you based on the content you've created. So watch out for that. Within the WCAG W3C standards, there are two levels that are mainly used in the industry, AA and AAA. Why am I mentioning this? Because depending on the chosen level, lower or higher values have to be considered. For tip number two, we are talking about color contrast. This means that there are a ratio contrast measure between the background color and the font color. Although this differs between authors, the AA level requires a ratio of at least 1 to 4.5, whereas the AAA needs to be at least 1 to 7. Most design systems these days feature some sort of add-on or feature to help you check the color contrast. However, if you don't have any of these tools, you can just follow the website I'm providing. This tip is more for web designers that use builders. As screen readers tend to follow an order, when you are building a website, it is imperative that you follow the correct tagging system. For example, if you are creating a title, use the H1 tag. For subtitle, H2. For a paragraph, use the P tag, and so on. The same goes for good HTML practices using the tag, the form tag when needed, or header, or footer, etc., can massively improve the accessibility of the website. Whenever possible, always try to name your pictures and tooltips. So, what are tooltips? They are those little tags that appear once you over on a picture, or a form line, etc. Those are also analyzed by Google and naming them properly will improve your SEO as well as the clarity of a screen reader. Sometimes all we need is a bit of creativity. As designers, we are always up for problem solving. Therefore, thinking out of the box with simple solutions can really make a difference to some users. For example, in a graph like this, instead of making lines with different colors, we can easily include colorblind users into our design. Therefore, creating something like this, where continuous dotted and traced lines make a distinction, can hugely benefit users and help them stay for longer in your website or application. So, as we have seen, uh, keeping accessibility in mind not only makes us more inclusive, but also increase our user engagement as well as our visibility on Google. So why not consider it more often? For more of my content, please follow me on LinkedIn and YouTube and see you on the next video. Thank you very much and goodbye.